For more on the situation in Libya and the North Africa region, I'm joined by Peter Bechtold, a professor from Portland State University. He once served in the Foreign Service Institute at the U.S. State, De State Department. He's also former director of their Near East and North Africa studies. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm happy to be here. Peter, is the fight against ISIL now moving into Libya? Is this country now being drawn into a larger battle? Well, President Obama said uh, just yesterday and uh, consistently that the U.S. government is going to target ISIS or ISIL, as they call them, wherever they find them. And uh, Libya is a place that has been identified. We also noticed that uh, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs earlier this week said the uh, Pentagon would like to um, have a large operation against ISIS targets in Libya. And so perhaps uh, President Obama was responding to this. There's always some tension between the White House and the Pentagon about matters like that. These particular airstrikes were directed at the possible leaders behind last year's terror attack in Tunisia. If those leaders are indeed among the dead, what would that do to ISIL? I am afraid it wouldn't do very much uh, because um, Organizations like ISIL are more ideas than distinct people. You know, they have a concept of how to live in a modern state uh, because they see the existing states are not functioning. And if you kill a certain leader, this is more a Western concept, uh, more of a movie concept. It doesn't really change much because somebody else will simply s uh, step in and take over. But it is psychologically satisfying for leaders in the Western countries if they can say, we've killed this individual. And Elaine, if I may add, uh, perhaps you remember in 2012, uh, the White House announced that they had killed a senior leader of Al Qaeda who was from Libya. And soon thereafter, they retaliated in Benghazi, and the United States lost four. Uh, diplomatic personnel. So I'm not sure these things work. It doesn't sound like you think they do, uh, and a lot of people would agree with that. Uh, do you think that ISIL is expanding into Libya? Why haven't we really heard more about Libya? Well, I think that uh, the Western media have uh, tended to downplay Libya, where on some levels the fighting has been more intense than in Syria because the destabilization of Libya uh, is being blamed around much of the world on the NATO countries. And so um, it is not a very pleasant subject. And there's no doubt but that the Islamic State has moved in. They are said to have concentrations in the area around Sirte, which is in the middle. It also happens to be in the area where Muammar Gaddafi was born, although I don't see any connection between those two things. Uh, as you maybe know, uh, there are two governments in Libya. Uh, the one that is sympathetic to ISIL, or the Islamic State, is in Tripoli, the old capital. And the one that the West prefers to deal with is an elected government in uh, Tobruk in eastern Libya. Peter, where do, do things with ISIL stand at the moment because we've been hearing that ISIL has been losing ground, losing money. Are they on the downfall? Well, what we understand, what I understand from my research and my reading is that they're losing ground in Syria, uh, but they're not losing ground in Iraq uh, yet. Uh, they still control most cities in the north, although they lost one city um, along the Euphrates River. But um, allegedly, ISIL leadership has uh, called its followers to relocate, or some of its followers to relocate to Libya because they thought it was safer than to be caught in the fighting between Turkey, Russia, the United States, and um, uh, the locals in Syria. So it is entirely possible that they have relocated to Libya. It's not that far away. All right, Peter Bechtold, as always, we appreciate your perspective. Thank you so much for joining us.